Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Black Atmosphere. I know you guys have been wondering, who are the people behind Black Atmosphere? Well, my name is Patrice Hensley. I am the CEO and founder of Black Atmosphere. Hi, guys, and my name is Larry Robinson. I am the uh, CMO of Black Atmosphere. And yes, so today we really wanted to come and let you guys know we're going to be doing a lot of virtual things because everyone knows the coronavirus is upon us. Um, and this was actually the month that we were scheduled to have events with you guys. So we were like, hey, what better way than to actually come to you guys virtually and you get a chance to know us in the privacy of your own homes. You know, we're going to have a great lecture fun, all that good stuff. So take this journey with us into the atmosphere. So right now, I want to let you guys know how we even came about. So um, I don't know if you all are familiar with um, Convos, um, the app with Chameleonaire. He, he did the pitch, and Larry wasn't pitching, but he was on the platform. And we actually, I was joined with a couple of other people while back, on black business group on actually forming black businesses and actually helping them thrive with startups because we've seen such a really big gap in like funding for you know black black um, entrepreneurs so we were like how can we bridge this gap and actually give people those resources so with black atmosphere you know we were doing that but then larry was like hey no let's take this to the next level and i was like Oh, okay, yo, know, I can see that definitely working. So, you know, we formed up, we partnered, and the rest is truly much history. Um, you know, we rebranded re to Black Atmosphere because it made sense for us. Um, because we're going into the atmosphere, not just in our communities, but across the world. So we definitely want to be able to connect with people all across the world, even in these tough times, we'll be coming to your home virtually. Yeah, and um, it was just, the timing couldn't have been in any better. Um, like I said, uh, like Tree said, uh, we met and it was really just accidental, uh, coincidental. Um, we were doing the same thing, just on two different sides. And so we, we had a good report, we built a good report, and then we realized, you know, why aren't we doing something together? And the funny thing about it is just that, like, you know, we have all these fragmented communities and people that are doing the same exact thing, but not really putting their resources together. So we wanted to lead by example, and we thought um, that building this platform and us coming together and putting our resources together uh, could help and show people that it's possible, uh, that we can all you know, start putting our minds together and that we are capable of you know, doing the impossible, of, of aiding one another and, and just seeing a difference in our communities. Um, just because, you know, I, Teresa and I actually both come from Chicago, Illinois. Um, and it's sure. funny. That's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> so that was another reason, Teresa, why I thought it was just, it was, it was God sent. Because um, we're both, we know, the, we know Chicago. Uh, and we know, it, we, we know its reputation. And not just that, you know, we, you know we, we've kind of moved out of that. And, and at the same time, you know, we've gotten to experience other sides of, of the, the United States, as well as like myself, you know, uh, getting out and traveling, you know, to other countries and just seeing uh, the, the difference and where I come from and, and, and where, I, where I'm at now. And so it's just, it's just crazy that um, knowing exactly, you know, what these places need, you know, places like where we come from and, and seeing you know, all these people who are kind of doing the same thing, but not really putting their heads together. So, like I said, it was just yeah. it was amazing that Teresa and I were able to uh, come to an agreement because you don't see that a lot either. And so, uh, even with all of our differences, and you're going to see a lot of <laughs> Yo, <laughs> we are night and day. Y'all don't understand. We are literally night and day. Let me tell you. Like, Larry is very structural, okay? <laughs> like, then he got me. I'm like, no, but we should just do it like this. He's like, no. <laughs> and like, but it works. It works. So when you're starting a company, guys, you don't ever want to have someone that is just like you. You want to get someone that is in a company where you lack 
that's their strongest point. And were they like, that is your strongest point. So you can make a phenomenal team. That is where you call a dream team. And that is how you're going to be successful. You, and you don't want everybody to be alike. Like, we're, we're, that's not going to work. <laughs> so you definitely want to have that balance in your company. And one of the things we definitely see is starting up. Everyone wants to do it themselves. Yo. You yeah. guys, we know you cannot do everything yourself in your company starting up. And I just sit there. I'm like, I remember me because Trap House of Fashion, a lot of people may know my backstory of fashion. I'm like, I can't do all this by myself. This is absolutely <laughs> no way. No way. You will run yourself raggedy, guys. You have to be able to figure out those points of who's going to be in your team what roles they're going to play, and how are you going to grow and scale your company up. So that is what we're doing here. Like, you, you're going to actually see those things come to life because we have planted the seeds. Now it's time to see it grow. And we're going to grow with you guys. So, yeah. Yes. And, and I love that, Trace, because Trace brings a caliber of a, 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 of a network you know, um, from entertainment, from, you know, industry, from business. And we, we, both, we, we both have that. And so it goes beyond our personalities that we're bringing to the table. It goes beyond, you know, capital and the money and the ideas that we're bringing to the table. We bring everything. Like, we're, we're transparent in what we're bringing to the table. And, you know, we bring our network. We bring people we know. And like Trace said, you know, it's about community and collaboration. And I'm so happy to be able to launch this and present this to a larger community. Because what I want to do as well as share my network, share, share my, um, my resources with the community, with you and, and, and yeah. as well, Trees as well. And so that's what we, we brought to the table. And what you're going to see is, you know, we have opportunity for, like she said, you don't have to do this alone. And you don't have to have just one side of it all figured out right because that's typically what you get when it's just you you got you come with the passion and you know the vision and you got that all yeah. figured out but sometimes you don't have the finance figured out you don't have uh the planning the strategy there's certain things figured out operations and marketing like all of these things you guys yeah. if you want to be successful and you want to take that small seeded level company up you're going to have to keep climbing you're going to have to fundraise you're going to have oh. to do so many things to actually get your company up and running and we are going to do this together yes that is what i love about black atmosphere because we're doing it together and speaking of i know everyone knows what is going on in the world about this disaster coronavirus listen corona all right coronavirus has really shooken the economy guys no seriously and what we want to talk about is well how are we going to come out on the other end of the spectrum? You know, we were struggling. Some people might have been struggling in those things. But I want to tell you guys, as long as you've had your paperwork together, you will be fine. You will be fine. But you have to do the work and fill out for the PPP um, protection. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to get into it. So the Paycheck Protection Program. So this is going to allow people to have a safety net for their payroll and to pay their employees. And that is something that is very needed. Even if you say, well, I really wasn't paying my employees, but you were paying your employees, but you probably weren't um, doing it on a scale of people getting paychecks. But say if you hired someone freelance, you still had to actually pay those people. So you can actually use that as, um, you know, for a paycheck because you had to pay them. So, yeah. But Larry, like, he he really can break those things down, like, about the loan advancements and um, the express bridge loan. So, he can Now, the down. paycheck protection, <laughs> and, and so, like you <laughs> were saying, and so we want to make sure we cover the totality. So, um, you have the CARES Act uh, program right now. With, and if you go to the SBA, actually, what I'm going to do right now is share my screen. So you guys can get a little bit more of that. Um, give me one second here. All right. So we have the um, coronavirus relief options. 
And so that you guys know what the PPP and the EIDL, uh, the, the, difference, the differences between the two. So as Therese was saying with the Paycheck Protection Program, um, that is used to, for companies who are having trouble keeping their employees on their payroll, uh, having to let go of employees. So the benefit of this is that if you did have to let go of employees using the PPP pro, uh, the PPP loan, you're able to rehire them back. And that's what they're looking for. They're looking, they're, they're giving you the opportunity. And actually the loan goes up to about $10 million, just depending on you know, the, um, the payroll uh, of the company. And so what they're looking for actually uh, 100 percent of what you're putting into payroll is actually forgivable okay so they're giving you this money to so for you to retain your uh, employees or hire who you have to hire as well so you want to make sure that the majority of your the money that you're using for the ppp goes into the payroll okay that's not to say that you can't use it to pay for other expenses in your business such as rent mortgage which is also available uh, one of the things treat Trees brought out that I, I wanted to um, touch on is um, they, as of right now, it's not fully understood. Um, I believe it's a no for now uh, when it comes to freelancers. Um, when you're paying people who are 1099 and not on your payroll, they are not um, going to, that is not forgivable right now because they're only paying, oh, it's for, not. Yeah, they're only paying for people who are on your payroll. Okay. And I believe I, someone had asked before um, if that covers part time. I believe it covers all employees, anyone who is an actual employee of a company. Okay, you know what they are, they haven't launched it yet, but I did hear some of it. So they will be launching something for those people, but they don't have it in place right now. That is correct. Because someone was complaining about that. They were like, "Well, what about the barbers? What about the hairstylists? What about the people that work in the art?" So. Independent they contractors are, um, yeah. and, and so forth. So sole proprietors, that all opens up, I believe, in three days, April 10th. So April okay. 3rd, they open it up to the uh, LLC. The, yeah. And so um, right. April 10th, it's going to open up to the freelancers. Now, that's, that's, that is for someone who's filing on behalf of themselves, um, not necessarily for a business who's paying freelancers. So they're, they're, and, and, and definitely, guys, um, we don't have completely, like, if you want more of the details, um, go to yes. the SBA.gov website. I um, just want to make sure that we're covering the CARES Act because um, right now there's the 300, as you can see here, $376 billion in relief yes. um, for American workers and small businesses. And so these are your funding options down below. The main ones right now that people are talking about that you may have questions about are the Paycheck Protection Program, otherwise known as the uh, PPP and the um, economic income or uh, disaster loan um, is the uh, EIDL loan advance. And so with that one, definitely make sure that you go to the website, guys. The application, when you click learn more, I'll actually click on that for you. Just to show you, when you where it's available. So if you go down where it says eligibility, um, down at the bottom to apply for COVID-19. Um, economic injury, forgive me, disaster loan. Um, this is a loan and then loan advance. So when you click here, um, the process is pretty quick. It's about 10 minutes um, on here, depending on what information you have available. And you're going to use information they're going to ask you for uh, your gross revenue as well as your cost of goods sold. Okay. And then from there, um, there's a few more, there's a bit more information. As, you, as you'll see, they'll tell you exactly how, you, how you're eligible. And then um, what, what's important here to understand with the EI uh, DL is that there's a $10,000 advance that you don't have to pay back. So there's a loan that they're gonna decide, you know, how much you're gonna get based off the information you told them. And then there's um, also, there's a $10,000 advance that goes to you, up to $10,000 I think, or I think it's a full 10, um, that goes to you um, if you're approved and that does not have to be paid back whatsoever. Okay, and so your other options, of course, is the bridge loan and debt release. And mainly um, yeah. with the express uh, bridge loan, that is just um, a quick loan to cover you while you're waiting for the EIDL loan. Um, and then you'll use the EIDL loan to cover the uh, uh, bridge loan. And so yeah. 
Um, Therese, were there, were there other options outside of the SBA uh, website that you wanted to touch on? You know what, actually, let me see. Um, you guys, I don't know if you've heard of the SB, um, United States Black Chambers, mm -hmm. but you can definitely check them out. They're really good. They have a lot of great resources, so you can go check them out. They're like, you'll see here, um, I don't know if you want to pull, you know, we don't have to pull it up, but I'll give you the website that you can go check on your own time and see if you want, it's something that you want to do. So. Let me grab that for you. So guys, it's gonna be usbblackchambers.org. So you can definitely go check that out. Um, great information, browse around. At this time, it's very important that you just grow um, in what you're trying to do in your company and advance yourself. So while you're in this quarantine, take this time to actually do the things that you have been wanting to do, but you didn't have the time to do. So now this is the perfect time. But also, I want to tell you, if you can download um, the, the policy agenda for um, the Black Chambers, that will definitely work for sure. Yes. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know if I'm disappearing, but <laughs> um, yeah. So you guys just check these resources out on your own time. We just wanted to, you know, actually touch on it a little bit so you can know what's going on because it's a lot of information out there right now but we want to actually give you the proper information so you'll know where exactly to go so you're not confused and you be discouraged because you don't want to be discouraged right now this is the perfect time like i said guys if you were struggling in your company at least you will have funding that will be given to you. And this is the perfect time to come out on the other side of the spectrum. You see what I'm saying? So as black entrepreneurs, we know the struggles that we have and when we're trying to get funding. So, you know, look at this coronavirus as a positive versus a negative. And we know, you know, it's been chaos. A lot of people have lost their lives and we, we, Definitely want to give our hearts out and condolences out to everyone that have been affected by the coronavirus because, you know, it, it's hitting home in our black yeah. communities. And I want us to take this serious, guys. Um, I, I don't want to keep going down on my feeds and I'm saying, I, I've never seen so many rest in pieces in my life. And I'm like, oh my God, the, like that hits home. And, you know, what one thing we'll talk about in our other, you know, meetings is about our mental health and what's going on. But there's a lot of great things that we have coming to Black Atmosphere. Yeah. And we're going to use these times to build with you guys and to build your companies and whatever you need, whatever you need, we will be here to help you through the journey. I promise you that. So, um, Larry, you know, we also, if you can go to our website, we definitely want to, um, if you haven't checked us out, so you can know a little bit more about us, um, you can go to www.blackatmosphere.co um, and subscribe to us, guys. Um, we're all over YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Definitely get involved with the community. This is the time for us to connect and yes. hit the dot, cross the T, um, so we all can be successful. Not yeah. just one particular. I agree wholeheartedly, and and I'm actually going to pull up the website here and show you guys, uh, so you can look at check that out. One of the things I want to before we conclude um, on all the economic relief options that you have, of course, you guys are also familiar with the um, two trillion dollar stimulus pack um, package. That oh is yeah, the stimulus. I wanted to cover uh, a real quick, Trace. Um, the um, goodness gracious, I can't think of it now. Um, the stimulus check. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I yeah. the, 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 the stimulus the, check. The I want to, stimulus <laughs> check. <laughs> <laughs> so I know a lot of you um, have, of course, um, varying opinions on it, um, but a lot of you also have questions on it. How does how's it work? Um, I have a little bit of information I definitely want to share as far as that goes, because like Tree said, this is a time for us to, you know, find out all our options. I, I, I know, you know, we're all going through uh, uncertainty and doubt, and there are no, there are no hard deadlines that let us know when this is all going to be over. And so, at least knowing exactly what your options are is that's why we're sharing these links with you. Um, definitely take advantage because, you know, like Teresa was saying before, um, a lot, a lot was shifting, especially in the black community, right before this, you know, economic, you know, pan, uh, pandemic. Yeah. And, and 
so right now we really need to make sure that we can see ourselves on the other side of this, you know, and, and, and that's why we're here. We want to make sure that we're doing it together, that we have strength, that we have community, and we, we're providing you guys with all your, all your resources and options. And so as far as the stimulus package or the stimulus check goes, of course, um, everyone, not everyone is eligible, but um, a lot of people will be eligible for uh, the stimulus check. You don't have to actually run and do anything to make that happen or to prove eligibility. Um, uh, and that definitely go to the IRS and uh, on their site, they will tell you exactly who is and who is not eligible uh, for the stimulus check. But I will let you know that they are releasing, um, they're said to have, re have those checks start going out by mid-April. Um, so middle of this month. And what that means is, is actually, have you filed a 2018 or 2019 uh, tax, have you did your taxes in 20, for 2018 or 2019? Um, what, what you filed for your bank account, or if you did like a direct deposit, that information the IRS has. So whatever they have on file is where things are going. Now, they're, they're talking about midweek, they're going to give people options to let them know that your bank account has changed, or if you'd rather get it in a check or, or a, a check in the mail. Um, just to let you know, though, because they're mailing this out to millions of people, they said that mail checks can get there as late as September. Okay, like really, as late as September, just because there's, and that could happen beforehand. They're just giving you like worst case scenario. And so yeah. I would advise you um, to be, stay um, on the IRS uh, website, okay? They constantly give you the correct information and, and never rely on information coming through email. So always make sure that any, any information you're getting, the IRS is not contacting you. Okay, they want no you to through email. You <laughs> <laughs> Unless you filed your taxes, that's when you're going to receive notification and, and yeah. the IRS. But other than that, the IRS isn't just coming to your email. Um, they want you to go on their site and they'll tell you when it's okay for you, uh, when, where you can fill out an application and let, you, uh, let them know what your, uh, what, how you would like the check to be sent to you. Um, so for a lot of you, you don't have to worry. If you've already filled out your 2019 um, tax return, you're good. It's going to go to the, you're going to get your tax return and you're going to get your, um, you're going to get your stimulus check. Okay, they're all going to go to the same place and they're just going direct deposit into your account. Okay, starting mid April. And then, secondly, um, I can't remember what I was going to say now, but just you know, oh, no, following you your touched, taxes. Hmm? You, yeah, I, you touched on a good point, even though about the CARES Act, people may not have filed their entities like far as your LLC. I hope you guys <laughs> did those things. I hope we did those things, guys, before February of 2020. If you've done it and you filed your taxes, two thumbs up to you. <laughs> like, this is, but this is why paperwork is so important. And we stress that we cannot stress that enough. You're probably going to hear us be very particular about paperwork and actually having it in writing for your business. It is not... If it's just an idea, it's just an idea. But if it is not in black and white, it's not going to matter when it comes to actually getting this funding, guys. So I, I hope everyone, you know, did those little steps so they can at least see some some benefit from it. So and, and guys, when we say black community, we're saying uh, a, we're a minority community of all shades. Okay. Yes, um, minority everyone. Minority we, do not we are here, <laughs> we are here for minorities. Okay. And, and so the main thing to consider here is, like Teresa, Teresa and I are going to iterate over and over again the importance of uh, your your wealth, your your value there. And so it's so important right now to have an entity, to have a business, an LLC registered of your own. You know, even if you did not going to do anything with it, you know, immediately, just having that ready um, so that way you can start putting. And, and we'll we'll. We'll dive into this in a, a more detail yeah, in the actual event that we're going to be hosting later. But we're going to, yeah. we want to stress to you the importance of having an, just an LLC, you no, know, or even sometimes a sole proprietorship, just different yeah. entities that you can file. We would definitely. Like one, like organization, anything. And if you have those, make sure you get them up to date, pay your taxes, get them back active, like whatever you need to do. Yes. That's it.
be responsible, okay? I know I've had my, my share of when I started in business of, uh, you know, I'm not filing my um, annual report in time. Guys, definitely be, be responsible. Um, yeah. Make sure you stay on top of, you know, your business. Make sure you uh, stay on top of your finances. And we want to definitely make sure we're providing, like we were saying earlier. So I'm going to go to our website here, actually. Yes. And right now, this is the current uh, version of our website. So you go in here, you can connect with us right here in the social bar. We have more news and updates coming soon. Um, then you can scroll down, you know, get to know us a little bit. We have uh, events coming soon. And right here, you can also download what's called our business lifecycle guidebook. Um, where you can get information, a little bit more information on uh, the different departments that we're going to have available for you coming uh, soon, where um, you can get advice on planning, you can get advice on marketing, you can get advice on you know, your organizational structure or HR. So we pretty much are putting different departments together that's going to work as a business development center um, to give you the advice you need in those different areas from different experts. Okay, and like I said before, it, these are this is our network. This is my network. It's Teresa's network. These are we're bringing together a community of people virtually. Okay, we want to bring together a virtual community um, where we're all uh, here for one another. Uh, we're we're providing resources. We're providing just if you need to vent, you know, uh, a little psychology. <laughs> you know, we're providing sessions um, to help you understand who you are as a business person. And what you can do with your business, whether you're just whether it's an idea, you're just getting off the ground, or you even have a mature business and you're trying to find out ways uh, to get into different mergers, how to how to merge your business with other companies, acquisition um, options. So we have a few things on the table there uh, that we want to introduce to you guys very soon. So definitely come check us out. We're on yeah. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and we're newly uh, starting our YouTube channel now. So we will have a lot more com content coming to you very very soon yes and that involves life cycle guys it's a lot of great information already there so you're going to know what you're going to need when you download that life cycle book you're going to look and say well hmm, i don't really have that right now and i and it's going to let you know where you are in your company even in this startup because even if you have gotten your company into a higher level it's still a startup guys so a startup is, is a startup and you really have to know where you are so you we can know how we can help you and if you don't know we'll figure it out together but that life cycle book will definitely make you understand well i'm right here i'm just starting literally i don't have you know my name registered or anything like that it doesn't matter well i've already done those parts but i don't have hr how can i get hr how can i learn how to pay myself those simple things that matters that we miss on the mark so that's why we're here and we're gonna learn together you know we're not saying we know uh, know it all but what we do is we have experts <laughs> that know those particular fields that we lack so don't think we're about to be the ones that's just giving y'all all the information because that's not happening. <laughs> like, no, we're actually putting people in place with those experts. And that is super important to know. Like, it's not all us because we know the importance of building companies. You're going to have to have multiple people. There you go. And to, to pretty much grow. So, yeah. It's multiple. I hope you guys I'm sorry, Tracy. No, I'm saying I hope you guys subscribe on blackatmosphere.co um definitely grab that life cycle book it's it's very important and and the value uh, we want you to get out of the uh, life cycle book is it, it's going to show you the different stages of business so we got the five life cycles and we got yeah. from startup to establish to uh, i'm sorry to growth to establish business to uh transitioning business to maturity yeah. Okay, depending on how far you want to take a business and letting you know your options at each stage, whether you want to exit, you want to consider exiting um, and, and you know, selling the business, or if you want to consider, like we said before, merging, uh, mergers, acquisitions, and then finding that culture fit between two companies. Um, all that's there. And we want to also bring the experts in because like Tree said, it is multidiscipline. This is not about one person knowing everything because I know if it wasn't for Tree's, I wouldn't be here because it takes both our brains to come up with such a great idea or to even yes. be able to um, do what we're doing today. 
And, and I feel the same way. Like, but but that's a, but that's a beautiful thing. And if it wasn't for Larry, I feel like I wouldn't be here. And that's what you truly need. Like, let me tell you guys. Like, there's no competition in team. Even even when you're outsourcing, yeah, people may feel right now like there's no competition at this. We are all in the same boat, and this is where we build our allies stronger than ever as a black or minority community like mm -hmm. everyone like we do not discriminate oh you're you can't be can't be here no everyone is allowed in here because we have been denied for many years and now is the time that we're breaking down those walls and we're coming on the other side as winners do mm -hmm. you hear me so concluding you guys thank you so much i hope you know, you guys tune in more because there's going to be so much more to come. This is just the tip of the iceberg. We're going to do Q and A's. We're going to, if you have questions, you can also ask us in our comments and we'll be sure to, um, you know, ask, you know, answer those questions for you guys. You know, we're learning. Mm -hmm. And also uh, before we finish out uh, and other news, if you guys are following um, Black Enterprise, the uh, founder, Earl G. Graves, oh. yes, um, has passed away. Um, oh my God. Yes. And uh, Therese, what was the uh, cause of death? Oh, Alzheimer's. Yeah. Alzheimer's. Yes. You guys, if it wasn't for Earl, we would not be sitting here. And it's just, just so crazy how all of this happened. But, like, yo, he paved the way for us. That is the type of you know, Marathon, we want to continue in honor our ancestors and what they have done for us. So I, my heart and condolences to his family. Um, but we want to say thank you um, because without him, we wouldn't be here. Though, because Black Enterprise, we, we're we inspired by all of these groups. Like, I feel so much unity you know, that I'm able to go say, hey, help us talk to somebody from We Buy Black or Black Enterprises. And this is what it's about, but we really want to salute him for sure. Yes, um, and because they, he, leaders like him have paved the way. And yes. we're building this community. When Teresa and I came together, um, this was, we, we started last year, July of last year. So it's almost been a whole year uh, since we come together to bring this idea to life. And, you know, through the ups and downs, we've had plenty. Um, you know, just whether it was, per whether it was personality crashes or, <laughs> um, <laughs> or it was just um, differing <laughs> viewpoints and ideas, okay? That's how we're going to yep. put it. How we're put it. Yeah. And, and then, guys, it's, it's so important to understand what you're looking at right here and what, you're, what community you're a part of. We cannot thank yeah. you enough. For being here for following we, we thank you all for uh, watching this right now yes, uh, for all of our members yes we're, we're proving something right now we're sending a president that you know this is possible that we are we, we are capable of putting our minds together and, and achieving um you know limitless uh, potential and and it's very important for us to see that too it's important for us to take this moment to realize we're all here and we have we have a mission. We we you know our, we have yeah. to make we have a responsibility to make our ancestors proud because they fought for this. Okay, you know who our ancestors are. I don't have to list them for you. We have an opportunity here to make our ancestors proud because of the, what they had to go through to make sure that you that we that someone like myself can be in front of you right now speaking on this very topic. So we have to make sure that. We're, we're, we're bringing our minds together and no matter how differing our thoughts are, no matter, you know, um, what we think of ourselves, that we're able to let go of that security for a moment just to link up and be more secure. Okay, because we the, the only way we can grab hold of more security is together. And, and, and I'm so proud to present this platform to you. I'm so proud to be here with you, uh, taking this chance, taking, taking this risk um, to, 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 you know, stand for something that, that matters, okay? So thank you guys, I really appreciate it. Yes, and no matter what background you come from, it doesn't matter here. And we all need to know that. No matter if you think you know little or a lot, we all can always learn something from each other. Um, 
that is the one biggest thing that I have learned. Even like when me and Larry, we come from the same place, but like we said, we're two different people and we can learn from each other because of that. And with you guys, you're going to be able to do that as well. You're going to be able to get inspiration. You know, in these times, we have to find inspiration from ourselves from the people that are around us virtually and we built this platform virtually like larry's all the way in columbia right now okay <laughs> <laughs> like you know like these are the important things so don't ever think that you cannot do something because you're not in the physical we have these tools so many apps we have to use them so use it to your advantage guys and that's really much all i have to say we're going to build this virtually and i cannot wait to go and penetrate this atmosphere with all of you <laughs> yes yeah.